Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer, and we are returning to a Let's Play of War in the West, where we're trying out how strategic bombers worked, and we're trying different targeting mechanisms. But we are on the first turn here in the ground phase, so it is time to start Operation Husky, the invasion of Sicily. So, of course, the game, as I said last time, is divided into an air phase, where you basically control all of your air force, and then we've got this ground phase, which is now. So now we're controlling most of our ground forces. So, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to change to amphibious transport mode, and you can see that um, as the scenario starts, there are a couple of things that are already set out for us. So, there are a couple of invasion spots down here in Sicily, where basically our troops can land, and... I, my understanding is that we could change the, these out for uh, the first uh, start here, but I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, we are going to go ahead with exactly that, and we are going to ask these people here to do exactly these invasions. And you can see that we have typically these task forces here. These are our vehicles, let's say. These are basically the transport ships, if you want, uh, that will ultimately put our troops on shore. And you can see that we've got two troops associated with that. That is the 50th British Infantry Division and the 20-some Infantry Brigade here. And we're going to ask all of these people here to actually go ahead and invade at the designated target over here in southern Sicily. So we're going to launch the amphibious assault. There is going to be a little bit of uh, attrition. You could see there was five uh, attrition over here. And these guys are now based off the shore. And next time in the German turn, these guys are going to invade and they're going to land over here in this area. So that's fine. That's a good start. We're going to send out our other troops over here as well. So I'm just going to click through all of these. Um, and as you can see, we are getting a couple of um, units over here, which are just going to do that force. Notice that these guys have some preparation here. We could hold off and maybe invade only next turn or so. I don't think that's really required this time around. But for the future, we will, of course, need to be uh, more mindful about that. So let's actually check on these guys. Is there anyone else? No, sorry, not F3, F4, that's fine. No, I think I misclicked over here. Come on, you guys, do invade there as well. Yes, um, this is going to take a little bit more attrition as these guys are coming in from further away, but that's going to be okay. I think it's fine. Good, there we go. Ooh, 11 attrition, that's not nice. Yeah, this is going to cost us quite a bit of uh, losses there. Um, and losses are, of course, what is going to drive our victory points into the ground. So that's not necessarily great, but, you know, what, what can we do? So, I think that's basically all of you, isn't it? I think that is all units that we have that can evade. I don't know why exactly some other units over here are also highlighted. I never never quite get that, but I think this is everyone who can invade. So that's fine, and that's basically all we need to do for now, because this is literally what we can do for now. We are not in contact with the enemy for now. So, yeah, all of these guys are now going to invade, and they're going to come on shore next time around. But... There are a couple of other things that we do need to prepare for that time. So one thing you might notice is that up over here, this hex here is colored in light blue. And that is because we've got a couple of people down here who are for now set to invade over there. And I think this is specifically uh, this part of the 1st British Airborne Division. And these guys are going to try to land over here. Now, I want to set up a couple of targets for these other guys. Now... This is not necessarily the best place to land. I think this is kind of close to, well, it's close to our invasion targets, which is good because it will enable them to uh, come on shore a little bit more effectively there. But I would also like you guys here to prepare at least an invasion up over there. And you guys are going to get up over here. And the reason for that is I want to prevent the Germans and Italians from retreating too many troops into Italy proper. So I want to see whether we can cut their rail supplies over here and prevent them from retreating in that direction. Whether or not that is going to be possible, I do not know, but I think it would be fantastic if we could land over there. Notice this is rough ground, so it's not necessarily the best place for paratroopers. And we are going to take more losses there, but you know what? What can we do? I think we do need to be a little bit more aggressive here. Right, we're also going to grab these paratroopers here, and I do want them to land, let's say, up over there. That's fine. Do you actually register that? For some reason, it sometimes just doesn't register that properly. I don't know why. And you guys, I want you to land, let's say, over here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and... No, no, okay. And let's... Can I specifically select you or something? I don't know why that isn't possible. 
No, no, yeah, there. Sometimes I really just don't get the game, but you know what? Let's learn this together, and I think that should be okay. You guys should try to land over here, please. It does show the symbol. Don't know why it doesn't doesn't register that more properly. Right, and then we've got another airborne brigade down here, the 509th Air U.S. Parachute Regiment. You guys, you know what? Yeah, let's do select a new target over here. And I think it would be fantastic if you guys sort of land, let's say, over there. Okay, you are registering that. You know what? Can we... I don't know why it didn't register that for another one there. Yeah, okay, let's ask you then to land over here. Yeah, you're doing that, that's fine. And why are you not doing that? Why are you... Ah, because you're a brigade, so you can't land somewhere else than these guys. I think that's it. Okay, fine, yeah, that does make some sense. Good. Okay, we learned something today. Right, the other thing that we do need to do is we need to move up a couple of units into the sea so that they can uh, serve as, let's say, the follow-up forces over here. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to grab the headquarter units of these uh, divisions. So um, as we have, let's say, in I think some versions of Hearts of Iron, Hearts of Iron 3, I think it was, uh, these guys are basically part of an army corps. And you can see these guys over here uh, are commanding these troops. This is the blue lines. We can see their headquarter on the other hand is down there. So all of that is fine. Uh, you guys are going to move into Tunis and then you're going to move onto boats. Yes, thank you. Onto boats. Um, and we're going to bring you sort of into the vicinity of Malta. There is a risk with that. And that is that one of these hit, troop transports might be hit, might, might get hit over there. Uh, and that is unfortunately the case in this uh, instance so let's increase that here a little bit and that is fine I think good okay that's that's uh, so far so nice or not but let's see about the other core over here so you guys over here again just move into this place over here thank you and then into the ships and move down here to Malta and again another transport is hit and that is causing brutal brutal difficulties here for us I, I'm really not happy about that Right, uh, nevertheless, we've got the you, these two cores over here, so they should now be relatively ready to engage anyone down there, So that's uh, or support these guys up here, so I think that's fine. We've also, where's the 8th Army? I think it's in Malta itself, right, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, you know what, uh, we are going to also ask you to step onto the boats and be ready to get on shore over here whenever we are ready there. We also should pick up the second US core, which is over here. So you guys, again, are not, no, sorry, not message level. You guys do need to come into here. Um, and then we're going to pack you up and send you onto the boats. I think we're going to park you, let's say, over here in the Gulf of Tunis. So we're not going to bring you quite as close, but I think that's fine. Um, and then, you know what? We You are part of the 7th US Army. Yeah, you are. So the 7th US Army, you guys could also come over here. And then get into the boats, and again, you guys are also going to try to land on Sicily. So that's fine. Ooh, another 1,000 men lost. This is brutal. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I think it is because we haven't properly uh, done enough naval patrols over here. But this is still quite brutal. Nevertheless, uh, we do need to pick up more guys. Um, I do want these guys over here. These are very special units. These guys are basically there to repair railway lines. As we are going to capture the area in Sicily, we are gonna, probably going to encounter a couple of uh, very damaged rail lines over there. And bringing these guys over will make sure that we can repair these a little bit more easily. And that will uh, increase our production, uh, our supply flow and all of that. So I think that's going to be fantastic. Uh, you guys do belong to the 7th Army as well, so you know what, I do think we would like you to be part of the follow-up strike as well, so yeah, let's do bring you over here, and I think that's perfectly lovely and nice indeed. Good. Do we have anyone else who is specifically part of that or something? Um, you, the Provisional US Corps, you're part of that, we've got the 2nd US Armored Division. You know what, I think I would very much like an Armored Division over there, so yeah, let's do bring you over as well. Another transport is hit, and this is this is going to hurt us because that's going to be a couple of tanks. So, yeah, not great. Uh, you guys are, in fact, not controlling anything, so that's okay. And you guys are still controlling something over here? Yeah, no, it's just your, your let's say, superior headquarter and the headquarter and, and another headquarter, which is basically empty. So, yeah, that's not a big deal here, so I think that's fine. We've got another US Armored Division down here. 
So you guys are also going to come into Iran and then we are going to try to bring you up over here um, into this area there and another transport is being hit of course when we are transporting tanks. These guys do get it. I'm not sure what is supposed to be hitting them at this point in the war. Um, probably mines? I don't know. Alright, so that does settle all of you guys over there. We've also got this division up over here and a couple of divisions down here. Now you are part of the... 8th Army. You're directly allocated to the Army. We will need to fix that at some point, uh, but I do think if we could bring you over here that would be fantastic, but we can't land you in, in this port here because it doesn't have sufficient cap uh, capacity. Well, that's a shame. Let's try to do that anyway. Okay, yeah, you don't have that either, so that's okay. We will need to bring them up over time, I suppose. Nevertheless, I think this is quite okay. Right, then we've got another headquarter down here. That is the 6th uh, Corps, the 6th US Corps. Um, I don't think you guys necessarily need to be in the follow-up mission, but I would like uh, you to prepare at some point to maybe go for this area here, for Sardinia. So that would be fantastic. And to that end, I think we should try to bring you over closer to Tunis. So let's in fact do that. I don't think you need to be right in Tunis itself. Um, but at least close by would be fantastic. So yeah, let's bring you up over here via rail. Um, so that's all right. Can we remove you from the train? No, we cannot. Okay, that's okay though. Yeah, and we're going to grab you as well. Bring you up over here via rail. So that's very easy to transport you like that. So that should be nice and easy. Good. You guys are also going to come into that direction. Uh, we are at this point a little bit shy on rail resources which is going to be a problem in the long term, but not for now, so I think that's okay. We've got the 5th Army over here. Are you actually controlling anything? Yeah, you are specifically controlling one of the cores that we've just con uh, just moved, so I think it would be fantastic to move you up a little bit towards that direction as well. So yeah, let's do bring you up at least towards over here or something. Yeah, I think that's okay. And, and fine indeed. Good. There are a couple of other forces down here um, that are sort of strewn out in North Africa. We've got the 5th British Corps here. I suppose if we could move you a little bit in that direction there, that wouldn't be the worst either. So, yeah. Uh, well, probably we had some, some areas over here that were a little bit overloaded with rail capacity. So, yeah. Nevertheless, let's try to bring at least these guys over here. Probably both of them into Tunis, and I think that's going to be okay. Okay, you can't move up any further, can you? Yeah, because we've, I think, overloaded the uh, supply capacity of these railroads. It's a thing. It's Logistics is, is a big, big thing in this game. So, well, you know what? Honestly, I, I do enjoy that. So, nevertheless, I do think that concludes the air phase. Uh, sorry, the ground phase, obviously, over here. So, we don't need, really need to move anyone else. Uh, we could move, of course, forces here from... Uh, let's say the United Kingdom down to Africa For now, I think we're going to be happy about how it is So we are going to end the turn over here and turn it over to the Germans uh, and see what they're going to do Of course, it's going to be very quick and I don't think it's going to be uh, too exciting to watch these counters down there uh, Go over but then we can go into the next air phase and that is going to be quite interesting as well um, And especially I do want to know whether they're going to do any counter attacks I think that was one of the problems that could have arisen during uh, the attack, during Operation Husky, the attack on Sicily. Uh, they didn't really, but um, still, we are seeing that we are now lo uh, landing onto these beaches. I think by and far this is unopposed, so most of these things just um, sort of anti-air guns or something. Uh, so really not that big a deal. You know what, can we go to message level zero so that you're just doing that a little bit faster? Um, I think you can see how this works. Uh, we are unloading on these shores. You can see the yellow units there. These are Italians. Uh, the grey ones are Germans, so they are, they, those are a little bit more uh, of a problem. And you can see the Germans are flying various missions over here, specifically over the sea mostly. Uh, and they are trying to bring up the interdiction value for the Germans. And that is quite interesting. Uh, by the way, do notice the losses down here. So they are losing a lot of planes doing that in air combat. So 135 planes lost for them just doing that. Now, the flip side of that is it will be more difficult for us to bring troops uh, into Sicily without all of these pesky uh, transports being hurt and everything. So that is not necessarily good for us. 
uh, but I do think it's going to be okay. By the way, notice how they're clumping up uh, towards the northeast over here uh, as they're trying to bring uh, their forces away from us. So, yeah, interesting. Also notice uh, we have a massive negative minus 40 victory points over here, uh, which is horrible, horribly, horribly wrong. Um, and I think that is mostly due to the fact that we are losing a lot of men over here. Yeah, you can see we have lost in terms of permanent losses. We've already lost... I don't think this counts, but this does count. So 3,000 men, well, probably that does count as well, if we including all of these losses. In terms of air losses, we have lost just in the last turn 57 aircraft uh, with 50 pilots uh, killed. But on the other hand, the Germans have lost 140 planes. Well, I say the Germans, but some of them are Italian, of course. So, yeah, nevertheless. Okay, these are Italian planes. Nevertheless, they have lost 44 Fokker Wolves. Uh, and 21 U88s, so not bad, I think. This 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 type of losses, I think they cannot sustain, whereas we can. So that's nice. All right, and we have made our landings here, so that is very good. Of course, uh, we're going to come back to the ground units uh, when we are getting back to the ground phase. For now, we are again in the air phase, and this is the air phase in July 10th, so that is fairly lovely. Um, let's do look at the map situation over here. Um, let's actually look at one of the info screens, and I want to know a little bit about the weather. So show the weather screen. Looks fairly nice, very clear, very not, not bad at all, so I think that's fantastic. Yeah, it really looks great. This is, this is very good weather force to bomb stuff. So yeah, we are going to go ahead and do that. So the way I like to see this is we can, of course, uh, go back to the air directive summary that we had. So this is what happened last time around. This is, this is what the plan would be for this time, um, if we just did it like last time. Uh, but I personally do like to see that on the map. So I'm going to click over here, and this shows you just the stuff that we've done last time around. Um, and of course, these would be the standing orders that our bombs would do and continue. Now, there was one big issue that I screwed up a little bit, and that is Bomber Command over here. When they did Bomb Cologne, they probably had wrong target priorities. Yeah. Remember, we wanted to hit them to hit the vehicle factory here, um, and instead they went heavily for the manpower, actually. And yeah, you can see that over here, their manpower has been... Well, that was the priority, and it has been hit very heavily, so... Yeah, it should have looked like this, it didn't, so this is a slight issue here, um, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so we could of course just correct that, and I think that would be good enough. By the way, um, who did you target in terms of your recon there? Yeah, that was also incorrect. So nevertheless, um, it was an okay result, but most importantly, let's check uh, the status of the actual targets over here. So. Uh, the first attack here was against Antwerp, and you can see already that this is red. And indeed, down here in the list, you can see that the vehicle factory here was damaged to 86%. So these guys are not; these guys are pretty much out of the war, I think. So that's that's going to be okay. Uh, this bombing here of Cologne again that wasn't quite as useful. So you know what? I think we are go not going to touch the attack on Cologne. I think we are just going to try to repeat that. So we're going to come in with the same group of aircrafts over here, mostly the Lancasters, a couple of Wellingtons, Mosquitoes, all of that. So these guys are just going to come in uh, as such, and this time they are going to concentrate on the factory though. So I think that's going to be okay um, and, and fine indeed. Uh, let's double check here briefly on this. So you're bombing on day 3, 5 and 7, and the recon is basically happening before that, so that's nice to see, and that should give you a clear picture of the factory down there. So that's good. What I do think we need to change is the attack on Antwerp. And the attack on Antwerp, well, it was fairly successful, but the problem is this was conducted by our Halifax and Sterling bombers. These guys do have a much, much lower range, so they can't really go that far. Now, if we are looking for a new target, and I do like to do that just by clicking on a new thing over here, and just click on None and look at the vehicles, we can see that the number over here, if we sort that by number, uh, we have done fairly good damage against the factory in Mainz or Rüsselsheim. Uh, we've done okay damage, I suppose, against Cologne, but I do think Warren's coming back again right away. Um, we've got done good damage against Antwerp. Now, all of these other things are quite a bit further away, so there's nothing as close as Antwerp except maybe Versailles. But do we really want to go for Versailles? I don't think I don't think Versailles. You no, know, this is close to Paris. Um, it's only level 10 factory, so it's not quite as, as useful. 
So yeah, I don't think it does make sense to try and go there. That being said, I think if we are doing this a little bit aggressively, we can probably extend the range, even of the short range bombers, to another target. And one of the other targets, except vehicles, that we're going to go for is fuel. Now, there is a long history about fuel and we're going to dip into that. Uh, but you might remember from last time, we do want to go for the synthetic fuel plants over here. And one of them is going to be in Boer over here. This is, in fact, the second target here from, from this list. Um, and you can see the one in Harburg would just be fuel production. Remember, these are not the things that we do want to go for. But Boer itself, yes, that is, is one of the targets that we do want to go for. So let's, in fact, take these things over here. First, the strategic recon. We're going to reprogram it uh, to target exactly Burr there. That's fine. Um, we should switch on the AA view. And I think it would make sense for you guys to come in a little bit here from the north. So that at least you're not exposed to the entire Ruhr Valley flock uh, over there. So that's okay, I think. Right. Anything else that we might want to avoid? Well, maybe these guys down there. We could fly a little bit here over the belly. I suppose that's fine. This could be avoided, but honestly, I think I think we're going to be okay over here. So yeah, let's let's use it like that. Uh, you guys are going to be available for over there. Oh, but we do need to actually shift the target priority this time around because we're not going to go for vehicles. We're going to go for the fuel refineries here. So that's nice. Um, you guys also your target priority. Oh, sorry, your target tax is going to change to Bur. Just up over there. And then your target priorities are going to change to fuel. There we go. Now, one thing we notice is the Sterlings. The Sterlings have horrible, horrible range and I cannot get there. So that is a bit of a problem, right? And the other problem is that we haven't really adjusted for any, any type of movement. Over here. Well, it's, it's gonna, it would be nice if we, if you were in fact over there. Could also fly in straight from the west over here. Oh, uh, straight from the east to the west via Bruges. I think that wouldn't be the worst. So the thing about the Sterlings here is these guys don't really have the range. They are sort of weird bombers. Especially you can see their range over here is just 250 miles. That's basically nothing. Now what we could do is we could change their loadout and we could ask these guys to carry not just bombs but um, some, some fuel tanks. But of course that wouldn't necessarily be the best uh, or most effective way for us to do with that. So in fact what I think what we might want to do is we might want to go ahead and shift around these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into air transfer mode. We're going to sort of filter by that once I do find uh, Sterling over here somewhere. Come on just give me a Sterling. There we go. So yeah, filter by that. And you can see these guys are mainly based in these air bases over here. So they're not really the closest to Germany, you could say. So I think it would be fantastic if we could shift you guys around. And let's turn off the flag view. And uh, since these guys are four engine bombers, it is best to send them into these sort of larger air bases. Now you can see this one is size three, but it's only being built up. So this is not ideal necessarily. But I do think moving you down here would be fantastic because it puts you a little bit closer towards your potential targets and I think that'd be great. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, all of these guys over here. Going to shift them over there um, and I think that's fine. You guys as well. And this airbase down there is going to be strained under that load I think. At least a little bit. Uh, but you know what? All in all I think this is fine. Um, it is good to have you guys over here and sort of all in the same place. Um, and I do think that that should make life easier a little bit for our bombing raid here. So if we are looking at this bomb city here, we should potentially pick a different um, staging base here. So let's pick something down. Oh, why can't I pick this? I think it's not under your command, is it? Yeah, so let's actually grab the Ashford US base and actually ask you guys to not be part of this, but you're going to be part of number three air group of the RAF, so that's fine and lovely indeed. So can we do shift that now? So if we're asking you to staging base, yeah, I think now we can. So now you're coming in much more closely from that direction. Uh, let's make sure that you're not super exposed to flak. 
If we could come in a little bit from the north here, that'd be brilliant, so that we're at least avoiding that uh, concentration there. And if you're not directly flying over Bruges as well, that would be also nice. Yeah, I think this is this is going to be okay. This is a good path. Now, the issue is, the Sterlings still cannot fly there. And why is that? Can I, can I get the no-fly info? Out of range. You're still out of range. I would have thought you'd be doing a little bit better here. Now, it might be because we moved these guys as well, so that could be one of the reasons. I would have expected you to be within range, honestly. Especially, especially as you're basically launching from that airbase. Okay, nevertheless, let's grab you guys then. And we're going to give you a little bit of auxiliary fuel here. And that should be fine. Good, there we go. So that does put you within range. So that's nice, and uh, quite comfortably so. Um, let's grab the Halifaxes as well. I think you guys should also try to get down there. So again, we're going to transfer these guys. Um, and I know this is not the most exciting, but you know this is the essence of this game. So let's clear all of these filters. I think we did see some Halifaxes here. Yeah, so indeed, let's filter them. You can see they are also based in Northern England. I have no idea why. To me, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So I think it would be brilliant if you could get uh, you down here as well. Uh, you can see there is an empty air base over here, which is just being built up. Um, and another one over here at Hawking. So how about New Church? A couple of Spitfires over there. I don't think you need to be over here. Yeah. How about Menston? Yeah. So all of these would be sort of viable. So yeah, I think going down here, maybe to Datalink and Lymphshire. Well, maybe just we're going to take these three there. I think that's going to be fine. Yeah. So let's grab you guys here. You're going to go down there. Thank you. Um, you guys here also just you know what let's uh, sort of go one place another place sort of flick that around okay you guys there's a couple of uh, aircraft over here let's go down there you might notice sometimes these guys don't quite uh, match up in the number of planes uh, when they do arrive and that is of course because transferring them does put a little bit of a strain on the airframes and all of that so some of them might need some typically smaller repairs I would say but yeah, it does make sense to bring them down there, I think. Great. Good. Yeah, let's do use all of these airfields down there. That's fine. Have we overloaded any of these airfields? Sometimes you can see a little bit of an exclamation mark. Yeah, we've in fact overloaded both of them. Well, isn't that lovely? Okay, so I suppose what we need to do then is grab at least, let's say, two of you. Move it down here. Okay, that looks better. And then maybe two of you, and we're gonna, also going to move you over here. And so it should be around 60 in each of these things here. Okay, that's that's okay. I think I like that. So uh, let's see how that looks then. So you guys are now having how many aircraft? Yeah, look at that. All of the Halifaxes are now within range. And that is fantastic because I think these guys... Oh yeah, well, they are using auxiliary fuel tanks. Let's try to see whether we can shift that. So that you're carrying a little bit more. Yeah, and, in, and indeed that does work. So that, I think, is very, very lovely indeed. Uh, why are you not working? Okay, you're working, but you're not working because you're too far away. You guys likewise. So I wouldn't like, in fact, like to transfer a couple of these guys down here towards this area. But at the very least, like two of them. So yeah, let's grab you again. And uh, let's clear all of the filters. And I think some bow fighters here. That is fine. Yeah, so let's pick you guys over here. And you can, you know, you're two engine aircraft. So I would ideally like to bring you down here as well. Okay, let's bring it down then into that airfield. Um, I think that does make some sense. I hope it's not going to overload it. But. Just need to see. Yeah, it does overload it a little bit. Okay, fine. You know what, then, then at least let's bring one of them. It's not the most efficient. Of course, you can think about all of that before. But, you know what, I think uh, I would like you to see how it is being played. Okay, fantastic. Okay, this time all of these guys are going to fly, and I think that's perfectly fine. So let's just make sure that we've got that. And let's see on the target priority list here. over here. We are indeed striking the fuel. That's fine. Uh, we are doing the recon, hopefully, on the fuel as well. Yes, so that's perfectly lovely. Um, Cologne, this time around, we will not bomb the civilian population, but we are indeed going to bomb the aircraft, uh, the, the vehicle factories, aren't we? 
Yes. Okay, that's looking good. Right. That's nice. So far, so good. I think that does settle the RAF. Let's look at the uh, United States Air Force. And I want to use these guys for a very specific target. And I want to talk about that target. I want to talk about that so much, in fact, that I do think we need to do that next time around. Um, but, yeah, I think this is a good place to put in a cut. So, thank you very much for watching so far. Do let me know whether uh, you want more explanations, whether you would like to, a little bit less explanations. I know this is a niche game. I know this is not the most graphically appealing one. But I do like, you know, the, the thinking, the detail, the level of loadouts that I can pick for all of these units. So, yeah, I think that's fantastic. And I do look forward to seeing you guys next time around. Bye-bye.